I'm actually doing this. Yep, I'm filming a YouTube video. <laughs> hey there, it's Paige, and this is my first YouTube video. Crazy. I know. Um, so today I have a couple of questions written in a journal that doesn't want to open. There it is. Well, this is the cover. <laughs> Shameless self promo. I designed this. And you can buy it on Threadless or Redbubble. I will link it down below. So I just have a couple of questions written down. I thought I'd just sit and chit chat. Get to know me. I put makeup on. Effort level is real. <laughs> so let's get started. Alright, first question. Where did you grow up? I am born and raised in New York. Actually, are there any YouTubers from New York? Let me know down below. Let me know what, who is your favorite YouTuber from New York. Cause I don't think I follow any. Uh -huh. uh, where do you currently live? This is my bedroom. I'm filming in now. Um, <laughs> live at home in New York. How tall are you? Five four five five. Depends. In between. Mm, dogs or cats? Mm. I don't know. I like, I don't know, I like a lot of animals. So, I had a cat when I was a baby, but of course, I don't really remember it other than my first sentence was telling her to get off the table. But, um, I did have guinea pigs, and I'm still obsessed with guinea pigs. So, I'll go with guinea pigs. What year were you born? 1995. Getting old. When you see the one in front of your year of date of birth, that year of birth, I can't speak. When you see the one, you know you're getting old. Are you in? Have you gone to college? I graduated college in May 2020. Five Towns College, class of 2020. Um, yeah, crazy time to be graduating college, but yes, I graduated college, got my degree in business administration, and now I'm doing YouTube. Ta da! <laughs> what is your favorite drink? Ooh, favorite drink. I have a lot. Um,. Pineapple juice, chocolate milk, uh, what else? Virgin pina colada. And pretty much any virgin drink. I don't drink alcohol, so virgin drinks are my friend. Um, yeah. What is your spirit animal and why? Ooh. I always say pandas, because they're like cute and cuddly. But they could also be mean, ferocious, feisty. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Give me one sec, because I'm grabbing it. Bath and body works thousand wishes. <laughs> yeah. The, this one is a good one. Um, I'm trying to see what else I have on my desk here, because I'm I'm sitting at my makeup desk, but you're facing the other direction from the desk. Um, ooh, here, if you want a real perfume, Daisy Mark Jacobs, if you want, like, a legitimate perfume, yeah, Daisy Mark Jacobs, that's a good one. Tea or coffee? For the longest time, I was tea only, and now I'm mostly coffee, but I do still like my cup of Earl Grey tea. But, um, I'm a Starbucks-aholic. Like, I will go, I could go to Starbucks every day and be happy. I don't do that, but I could. I know when I was at school, I drank coffee, like, every day. But I only drink decaf because caffeine does not like my body. Na na na. <laughs> um, single or taken? Oh no, I just, ooh, I just skipped a bunch of questions. Oh, well, I'll answer that one. Um, I am single. 
easy enough to answer single. Favorite movie? Ooh. I have a lot of favorite movies. Um, Dirty Dancing's one that comes to mind. Titanic. Um, Mean Girls. I'm trying to think of a recent movie that I liked. Oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. That's a good movie. I've seen that a bunch of times. Um, Greatest Showman I've seen a bunch of times. I'm trying to think of a recent movie. Um, I don't have any recent movies. I don't know. Favorite YouTubers? Ooh. Most of my YouTube, I could tell you like the categories that I watch. Um, makeup, fashion, art, and what else do I watch? Music. Those four categories, so... Favorite YouTubers? I have too many to name. <laughs> Way too many to name. What's your idea of a dream date? Hmm. See, I haven't been on dates. A date in... What are we going on? Six years now? Six years? I haven't been on a date in six years. Um, I can tell you one of my favorite dates was... An amusement park. That was a fun date. How long was your longest relationship? Oh, we're going there. Two, it was two years of hell. That's all I'm going to say. I could do a whole video on my relationship, but I'm not going to do that. Because I don't want to go down that dark road. How do you describe your fashion sense? Oof. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Um. I'm in a lot of different categories. I mean, today I'm wearing a sweatshirt. What? The string keeps getting stuck in my hair. There it is. Keeps getting stuck in my hair. It's, yeah, they're both in my hair. Today I'm just wearing a chenille sweatshirt. Um. Other, a lot of the time in the winter, I'm like Sherpa and sweatpants, but I do, there are days where I'm like, ooh, let's wear a sweater and jeans. Um, as for fashion sense, I don't know, I wear everything, so I'm not picky when it comes to clothes. Go to hairstyle. I haven't been doing my hair much, I kind of just leave it as you see it. Um, but when I used to do my hair, I used to pull back the top of it into a jaw clip. So, that's probably my go-to hairstyle, is just pull back the top, put it in a jaw clip. How many siblings do you have? I have one older brother. Mac or PC? For the longest time, I was Mac. I have... I still have a MacBook. It's 12 years old now. Um, it still works, but uh, that hard drive is teeny tiny. And I do have a PC that's about to be a year old that I absolutely love. And I think for me, I have to say PC because there's just more space to do things. And my computer is a touch screen, which is really fun because it uh, flips, you could turn it into a tablet. And it's just kind of cool that you can have a two in one computer. Mac, you need to get on that because uh, I would so buy a two in one Mac. That would be so fun. Describe your eye color hazel. <laughs> um, depending on the lighting, they look brown, they look green. It just depends on the day, what I'm wearing sometimes, it depends. Can't really tell what they are now. Um, looking brown. Yeah. What theme parks have you been to? Ooh. I have been to Disney World. I've been to Universal, but not, I think the last time I was there, I was like two, and they had Barney Land. 
so throwback. Uh, so Disney Universal, oh, Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. That place was fun, especially during Christmas time. It's like all Christmas themed. It was like all holiday themed. It was kind of cold the day I went, but their hot chocolate there was so good. That was a fun place. I would definitely go back there. Favorite ice cream flavor? Hmm. Again, I am a foodie, so I will eat anything really. I'm not a picky eater. But if I had to pick a favorite, for the longest time it was coffee. But I think now I'd have to say Ben and Jerry's fish food. Because that one is so good. Now I'm in the mood for it. Made myself hungry. What was your dream job as a kid? Ooh. Dream job as a kid? Well, for the longest time I wanted to be a singer. But I think in elementary school I was all about trying to be a professional tennis player. I don't know. Singer or tennis player or something in that realm. What is your coffee order? Yeah, one of those people with a complicated one. My go-to drink at Starbucks is a decaf Americano with coconut milk and cinnamon. Yes, I know that's complicated, but try it. It is so good. Favorite sports team? Hmm. Um, tie between the Yankees and the Mets. I watch them both. I'm a, I like baseball. Although my favorite sport to watch is tennis, but there's no favorite ten oh well, favorite tennis players. Uh, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal. Those are my two faves. Love those guys. It's so fun to watch them. And who else do I like? Tennis wise, um Victoria Azarenka. She's a beast. Favorite color? Ooh. It used to it was turquoise for the longest time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. Turquoise. Most memorable concert. I have not been to many concerts. Just I don't know. Just didn't go growing up to concerts that much. But most memorable was September twenty nineteen. Me and two of my best friends, and one other, I lost my train of thought, um, me and my two, two of my best friends, and, yeah, went to go see Sleeping With Sirens, in this, like, record store, and it was, like, an all-acoustic concert, and that was pretty fun because we got to like meet them at the end and they autographed the CD and I was like this is cool so yeah that's probably that was the last concert I went to also so yeah favorite value in friends favorite value in friends um trustworthy I guess trust but I would say my friends know how to make me laugh and are supportive and trustworthy. So I guess those three. What social media are you addicted to? <laughs> um, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. Spend a lot of time on TikTok. I posted on TikTok. I haven't post it in a while, maybe I'll get back into that, um, yeah, so, I'm on Instagram a lot, I'm on Facebook a lot, so, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, yeah, favorite Harry Potter movie, oh, <laughs> I'm surprised I wrote that, 
but uh, yeah, I wrote that down. I don't have a favorite Harry Potter movie. Um, all of them. I've seen all of them handfuls of times. I can sit. I can't sit and watch all of them like binge every single movie in a day. That's too much. I could do like one movie a day. Um, if you want to know Pottermore, so did me. I'm a Ravenclaw, and my Patronus is a dolphin. Dolphin. Favorite family tradition. When, what do we have as traditions? I guess we could say this one. Um, I have been on 14 cruises. Every summer, the whole family would go on a cruise. And that was like our summer vacation. So I guess that would be my favorite family tradition. I do miss cruising, but I'm not going in COVID times much risk. Last cruise I went on was 2019. And did I spend most of the day in the pool? Yeah. Pool in the hot tub, pretty much. Love it. I'm like, yes. Um, I went snorkeling. I went to the beach. Pretty fun. Favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? I have way too many. <laughs> um, the Chicago franchise, Medfire PD, Riverdale, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Julie and the Phantoms, Stranger Things. Uh, what else? What else? What else? This is Us. That's on tonight. Yay. Um, mm, what other ones? I don't know, I just named a bunch. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, Good Doctor. Good Doctor was on last night. I love that show. So I have a lot of TV shows. If you want more recommendations for TV shows, let me know and I'll tell you some good ones. First email address. <laughs> oh no, we're going there. Um, oh gosh. I don't still have it, I know that much. And I think it was named after my first guinea pig, whose name was Peaky, which says a lot. I was like eight or nine. So, yeah. Favorite school subject worse, and worst subject. Okay. All throughout, like, elementary school, middle school, especially high school, I hated school. And then when I got to college, I was like, yay, school. I was so excited for school. Um, favorite school subject? Ooh. Um, if we're talking high school, let's do high school and then I'll do college. Favorite subject in high school was probably visual art. Um, or lunchtime, if you want to really count things. Lunchtime. I was like, I'm not learning, I can just sit and do what I want. Lunchtime. Worst subject, uh... English and social studies. I did not like reading in high school. And I just, social studies, I'm good at remembering dates and stuff like that, but it was just like overload. And I was like, I don't care for history that much. In college, favorite school subject? Um, social media? Um, what other class? I like public relations. That was a good class. I did like that class. Worst subject, economics. Hated economics. Macro, micro. I was like, nope. I don't like this. Hate this. Are you named after anyone? Yes, I am. I am named after my dad's father, whose name was Pat. Or Pasquale. But Pat for short and yeah I was named after him I never got to meet him because he passed away before I was born but I was named after him what are your favorite things about yourself I am creative I am constantly 
always creative, always keeping the mind sharp, and I think I'm funny. I don't know. Biggest fear? Uh, spiders. Spiders. Hate them. Got bit by one once. Never again. Spiders. No, every time I see one, I'm like, just kill it. Get rid of it. I don't care what you do. Get rid of it. I hate that thing. Favorite musician? Oof. <laughs> I have way too many. I am a pretty broad person when it comes to music. Like, I will listen to country. Not all country, but some country. Pop, rock, alternative. Rock and alternative are my main two, but I like techno, EDM. Um, favorite musicians. I mean, my, let's, you know what, let's pull out the phone. Here's my phone. It's upside down. It's freaking upside down. I'm gonna pull up the photo. I saved my 2020 wrapped from Spotify. Let's go to my top bands. So, All Time Low, Bass Hunter, Tokyo Hotel, Queen, and Home Free. <laughs> That's a pretty wide spectrum right there. But those were my top artists of 2020. They're, I think they're still my top artists. I do listen to them the most. So yeah, top artists. Favorite food? Like I said, I'm a foodie. I will eat most things. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, popcorn is up there, pizza, pasta, steak. Those are some of my favorites. Favorite music genre? I just, we just talked about this, um, favorite music genre, probably rock and alternative. Those are my two biggest. Why do I have a hair in my mouth? <laughs> do you remember your dreams? Yes. I get major deja vu sometimes from like something I dreamt about. I'll be like, why do I feel like I've seen this before? Does anybody else get that? Because I get that. Guilty pleasure TV show. <laughs> <laughs> um guilty pleasure tv show probably below deck um i have seen 90 day fiance i wouldn't call it a guilty pleasure show because i don't watch it like religiously um below deck i don't watch religiously either but i just like kind of want to binge that show because it's just crazy. Like, I love seeing the crew and I'm like thankful that I don't work in such tight corners. Like, they work in such small spaces. They live, like, their cabins are like this. They're so small. And I'm like, when I go on a cruise, I get, you know, the cabins aren't large or anything. But it's larger than a crew cabin. Something you are gifted at. Hmm. Drawing? I guess we'll say that. Drawing? Morning person or night owl? I am neither. I am an afternoon person. Afternoon person. Last book you read. Um, I was reading the True Blood, the book series that inspired the TV show. I don't know where my books went. They're somewhere in the house, but I don't know where they all disappeared to. I was on like book six or seven, and they're somewhere in the house, and I just haven't touched them in a while. So... That is the last thing I read, and I really did enjoy them. I really like that series, so I do want to continue it because there's like 14 books total, and I'm only like halfway through. So yeah. Last thing you bought. Art supplies. 
I just did a Michael's order for cardstock and pen. need this and I threw it out and then I cried because I was like my cell phone was in there and I was like my parents are gonna kill me I lost my cell phone and I was freaking out luckily the janitor was able to find it and crisis averted any nicknames um not so much nicknames as much as puns because my name is Paige and I get like, oh, let's turn the page all the time. So, not so much nickname, mostly puns. Texting or phone calls? Texting. I have social anxiety, so me on the phone, I'm just like, um. So I like texting because, I don't know, just easier for me. You don't have to like talk, you don't have to be like, Oh, this person sounds sad on the phone. Oh, this person sounds like this on the phone. You could just type things. And yeah, so texting. Halloween or Valentine's Day? Halloween. <laughs> Easy Halloween. I love dressing up, doing makeup. Oh, getting candy. Who doesn't like getting candy? Valentine's Day, I absolutely hate um, the only good part about it is the next day when you get all the half-off candy. Um, just never had a good Valentine's Day, so don't like Valentine's Day. No. I could do without that holiday. Summer or winter? Winter. I love the cold weather. I love snuggling up with a nice cozy blanket. Summertime, I tend to overheat easily, so if it's too hot out, I'm like, nope, put me back in the air conditioning. Do not let me go outside in the heat. If I'm in the pool, though, I'm okay. I'm a water person. I like the water. I like the snow. I, lo I love going sledding. Sledding is fun. And any pets? No, I skipped a question. My bad. Favorite restaurant? Probably Yard House. Probably Yard House. Because they play classic rock music. Sometimes they play pop punk. Alternative. I've heard them play. Like. What song? Oh my gosh. Now I'm blanking. I can't remember what song they played. But, um. Why do I want to say Stacy's Mom? I don't know. But, um, the food there is great, and it's just a fun place. They have TVs everywhere, showing sports. It's just a fun place. Of course, I haven't been because pandemic. I've taken out from there, though. Any pets? No, sadly. Um, like, I had a guinea pig. He passed away ten years ago. And we just, we never got another pet. Uh, I would like a pet. I think it would be fun to have another furry friend. But, I don't know. 
And last question that I have written down, zodiac sign, I am a Pisces. My birthday is March 4th, so Pisces. So that is all the questions that I have written down. Will I do another Q&A type thing in the future? Yeah. If you guys want another Q&A from me, sure, we'll do another one. But for the plan that I have for YouTube is I want to talk makeup, I want to talk fashion, I want to talk art. Those are three things I love. Um, maybe I'll do a squishy collection video with you guys, because I do have squishies. Um, talk nail polish, even though I'm not wearing any. Um, yeah. I think my next video that I want to do is, I want to do kind of, so you guys can learn what things I like, is like favorite makeup products. And I'll break it down. I don't wear face products, natural skinned, um, but I wear eye products, lip products, so we'll talk about that, um, skincare of course, and just thought that would be a fun way to start things off, we'll talk favorites, I do want to do favorite art supplies, so that would be a good one, and that is it for today's video, I did my first video. I'm gonna happy dance. <laughs> Alright, I will see you guys next time. Bye.